Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi and today I am going to tell you that basically if you just want to use sublime text editor, so how you do that. Okay, so basically today what I am going to tell you is that let's say uh, you want to make some project in sublime text editor, right? And in that project you want to add some images, some audio files, okay? Something like that. So how you will do that? How you will add this, the images in sublime text editor? So Sublime Text Editor and PyCharm, these two are the, uh, you can say these two are the IDEs in basically you cannot use any image from anywhere. You just need to have a specific folder only from that specific folder only. You can just choose the images and use that images in your program. So basically how do we so basically how do we find that what was that uh, specific folder and basically what is the location of that folder. Today we are going to see these things right. So in the last video, I have already told you how to download Sublime Text Editor in your IDEs, right? So I hope just by the time you all have downloaded the IDEs in your Sublime Text Editor in your devices. So now today we are just going to write and execute a very small program. And after that, we are just going to see that basically how we can save any images inside this. Okay, so let's say this is my file. And basically in the last video only, I have just told you that how to uh, make a file how to, how to save that file and even how to run a program right so i'm not just going to repeat all of these things today i'm just going to tell you only the thing that basically how you can save some images or audio files in this sublime text editor if you just want to use that things in your project right now the things that comes here is that i here i will just click on this file right so here the file which i have this is only untitled one okay so i would just click on this file after clicking on this file i would just go and click on save as fine so here i just got that save as now here i would just write and save this okay firstly i just need to change the extension extension in the sense that save as type i need to change that so i would just go down and down and down and i would just click on the python one okay that python i will just click on that now i would just name it as here something i would just write it as demo one demo one dot py okay and i would just see that basically now where my these sublime text projects are being saved i would just click on this save fine so my demo one dot py has been saved now what next thing i just need to see here is that next i'm just gonna see that basically as soon as i just click on my google right i just click on that google now what here i just uh, need to follow i would just uh, find some image let's say i just want to find the image of some mountains find mountains okay i will just click on this and now here i will just go to images and finally what i would do let's say i want to choose this one it looks beautiful right so i just i just want to choose this one what i would do i would just write click on this and i will just do save image as right save image as now after doing this what else i would do here i would be having uh, a way to choose a file location right now what i would do i would just go to my windows c my users then again user then i would just go to that um where it was right it was a sublime project right sublime projects and the, inside the images right uh, so sublime projects so basically this is my sublime projects and here now i would be saving this image okay now basically how do i get to know that basically my projects are being saved in this file so basically uh i just got to know about these things when i just like downloaded my uh, folder right when i just downloaded my sublime text editor so i just told you at that point only and now also i'm just telling that it is very uh, like it is very important to keep the things in mind that basically in which folder you are just saving the uh or downloading the things right so from that only I just take the thing, I just remember the thing and I just save the image and I will just now click on the save. So let me just go upside. I will just click on the save. Okay, so my image has been saved this side. Uh, I will just go to the, I will just close this. And basically this is my sublime text editor. And uh, now I will just, when I will just open that folder separately, now I would just see that image saved here. Okay, I would just open that, just hold on for a second. I will just sublime projects and yeah in the inside these images now you can see that i have that image that is french mountains inside the folder wherever i have basically saved all of my things all of my projects and even all of my images right so i hope you just got the point that basically how we save the image in python and like this only you can just save any of the audio files whatever we, you want so basically for me i have just saved some of them right now so you can just do all of these things while by following this procedure only this is the final and the best procedure for saving the image and 
for saving the audio files and while in pipe uh, while in sublime you just save the image and save that particular audio then only you can use that audio and that image in your project if you're just not saving it to a location where you have saved your file let's say my demo one.py is saved in another folder and my images which i just want to use are saved in another folder so it is going to create me error it is going to show me error fine so this is the way basically you need to save all of the things in a very single folder right so this is uh, how you can just save the images and you can just use the images in your project right so i just hope i got the whole idea that basically how the sublime text editor works and basically how to run and write the uh, like write and run the programs in this so for this i have already told it in the previous video where i have told that how to download sublime text editor right so you can just go and follow that video so this is all for this video till then thank you and bye bye